Um, I raised goats in high school and Benny's family had over 30 milk goats that they raised. I milked five, five goats every morning for three years. So. <laughs> you know, you go through the stresses of life, you're working and all this, you know, just everything outside in the world and then when you come and you teach Goga, um, something that is just people are having a good time and people are, you know, just enjoying the moment. Um, it's really nice and it kind of centers me even more, more than I usually am with yoga and just because I'm able to be around animals and people and things like that. Don't eat my hair, please. I love that it kind of adds a goofy twist on yoga because sometimes I just think of super serious people that breathe really heavily, but it was funny and cute. So. A lot of people are afraid to come and do yoga, but once they see there's baby goats, it's a good excuse to get out and do some exercise. For me, when I first started yoga, I was afraid of the people who are more experienced seeing me and like me not having that skill level that they had. But when there's that distraction, like Derek was saying, the, the goats running around and everyone's laughing at the goats, it makes it, the, the focus is no longer in your mind on you. It's on the goats and it's fun and everyone, everyone bonds and everyone unifies it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I already got layers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <hi. laughs> oh, <hi. laughs>